Hey everyone, <clears throat> sorry about uh, me not doing an update forever. I just have never gotten to it. Um, I have a list of what, well actually, you know what? I made an update at 10 weeks when I'm supposed to be 11 weeks. I'll get to that um, later. But, um, <clears throat> and I was taping it and everything and it was never recording. And I really did not want to have to go through that again. But I'm going to do a quick rerun of what I had. Um, I ended up going to the emergency room one night due to pelvic pain and bleeding. I was really scared. I mean, it wasn't like in the toilet. Sorry to be graphic, but um, it was like on the toilet paper. And along with the pelvic pain, I was scared I was having a miscarriage. So right after work, I went to the emergency room. And I was there for six hours. It was ridiculous. Oh, man, it's cold in here. Um, and yeah. So they just diagnosed me with a threatened miscarriage. Well, I am now 12 weeks when I was then and 9 weeks one day from the ultrasound they did. Um, <clears throat> and yeah. Nothing's happened since. So I went to the doctor. Actually, I went and saw the midwife the following day. And I was really scared. I went in there crying, um, thinking I might have lost the baby. And um, they couldn't find the heartbeat again, even though they did find it on the ultrasound at the emergency room. And no, I did not see the baby at the emergency room, and I did expect that. Um, <clears throat> but the midwife, since she couldn't hear the heartbeat, she did like a fun ultrasound. I mean, she's not like um, an ultrasound technician, so that's like not what she does. But she did it so <clears throat> to like reassure me and to find the heartbeat. And the baby's heartbeat, I think, was around here, 176 beats per minute, which, yeah, it sounds really high, but um, for a baby that's only nine weeks, I mean, their heartbeat is a lot faster than a um, term baby. <clears throat> well, not exactly term, but older. Um, why they can't find the heartbeat still is because I have an anterior placenta which just means that my placenta is facing my abdomen instead of in the back behind the baby and that's going to muffle um, the heartbeat um, with a Doppler and oh kitty don't and um <clears throat> no no and I don't know I don't know I'm exhausted as every other day but um, yeah, so I'm a week behind, um, when I had my ultrasound then, I was nine weeks in one day. Today, I'm exactly 12 weeks on Wednesday. Um, they're going by the ultrasound because my periods were so, um, irregular, so, um, we're just gonna go by the ultrasound date of what the baby is measuring. So as of now, I should be 12, I should, I am 12 weeks, I should be 13 weeks tomorrow, but I'm not, supposedly. Um, symptoms, I am having SI joint pain, um, which is like, I don't know, it's not your hips, it's like right where your hips meet, um, your hip, I mean, where your back meets like your hip joints, I can't really explain it, but it's called the sacral joint, and it's, I've had it ever since I was pregnant with my son um, in the second trimester, and um, it wasn't as bad once I had him, but then now that I'm pregnant again, it's just awful. I mean, sometimes I cannot get up off the floor or bed. Um, it's, I hate it. It's like throbbing, stabbing pain. Um, if anyone has any of um, those symptoms, please let me know, like, what you do to help alleviate the pain. Um, that would be much appreciated. Also, we have names picked out. Um, I do think they could change because it's so early 
and um, yeah, but right now we really like them. They're a little unusual, so please no negative comments, um, but I would like to share them. For a boy, we have picked Kirk Landon. Kirk um, means church. Oh my, I forgot <laughs> which it originates from, but yeah, Kirk Landon. And for a girl, Lily Annalyn, um, my husband picked the middle name. Some people aren't too sure of it. Um, I'm, I'm okay with it, but my, since my husband picked it, um, we will go with it. <clears throat> because she, he should have a part in naming the baby, I believe. Um, let's see, I have gained a lot of water weight. Um, I don't think so much in, like, gaining, like, fat, um, just, I mean, with my son, I can tell, like, when I gain water weight, my fingers just swell up, and it gets a lot worse as my pregnancy progresses, but I can no longer wear my wedding ring, um, I went in to go get my rings, uh, cleaned, and the guy was trying to get it off my fingers, and he was like, you need to get this off soon as you can, when you can, um, or we're going to have to cut it off, and I did not want that. So he said it was totally cutting off my circulation and it needed to go. So yeah, my mother-in-law and I, excuse me, um, we went to Kohl's when they had their big sale um, not too long ago, and we picked out rings for ourselves, and mine is going to be worn when I'm pregnant. Um, kind of just let people know I am taken and I'm married and yeah so it's going to be a pregnancy a wedding band <laughs> um okay that's from week 10 12 weeks um not too much as you can see I don't have sheets on my mattress here I went to wash them and I have not put them back on for a good reason <laughs> Well, I don't know if it's so good, but, um, I do not sleep in my bed anymore. I have to sleep on the couch, and I am usually never a couch sleeper. <clears throat> um, I usually like soft beds. I mean, this is kind of in between soft and firm, but I don't know. With my hips, I have to sleep on the couch, and my husband is a night owl, and I have learned to fall asleep to him, um... <laughs> just being up and awake and when I came up here to sleep the other day um, I could not sleep it was just so incredibly silent and I couldn't do it so I've been sleeping on my couch for the past good for the like six weeks I'm sorry I I know I apologize in like every video but like once I am done working I I stumble a lot with when I talk and um, I don't care for it but I can't really help it I've always done it <clears throat> I stutter so um yeah I can show you my belly nothing much really but at least I don't think so can you see yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to really see much of a difference with my stomach because I didn't lose all my weight with uh, my son. So, I don't know. I probably won't start showing until, I think, probably 16 weeks, I bet. But, we'll see. Um, I think that is about it. I have a picture of the ultrasound, but you know, I really don't want to run downstairs and get it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> My son's in bed and he wakes up to everything, and I do not want to wake him up. So, I will keep you guys updated, hopefully, um, if I get any more energy. And yes, the fatigue comes and goes, and my hunger now, I really could care less to eat again. <laughs> Um, I don't know, whatever, but, um, 
Oh my goodness, my craving is water with lots of lemon juice. I go to Walmart and I get a big thing of the lemon juice called Real Lemon and I just pour it in there. Oh my goodness, it's so good. And I have to have it like every hour or two. I have to have a big glass. I don't know why my thirst is increased, but it is crazy. I'm like fish. <laughs> so, alright everyone, I'll see you later. Bye bye.